What's going on everybody? It is your man Cleveland Terry and today we're going to briefly take a look at the new Virtual DJ Stems 2.0. That is the update from their previous gen which is supposed to give you better sound quality, uh, better stem separation, just better overall. How does it sound? Let's take a look and compare it to the other ones. All right, once again, if you guys are new here, this is what we do. We talk about all things DJ, whether it be gig logs, whether it be tips and tricks and tutorials or just gear reviews. That's what we do here. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe and follow me on all of my social media, specifically my IG, because we do a lot of things on there that are not anywhere near what we're doing here. So we're not gonna spend too much time on this. I wanna get through this, take about five minutes to kind of go through what I think is a very, very impressive update. You know, it's funny, just a few weeks ago, we had Serato DJ come out with their version of their stems. As you know, a lot of people, including myself, reviewed it. We liked it. We thought it was the best sounding stem out there. But the question is, is it still the king? Well, I'm gonna tell you that right now, at this particular moment, it's already been dethroned. That's right, virtual DJ stems are truly impressive. We're gonna go through both Virtual DJ, Serato DJ, and of course we can't forget about Algorithm DJ. We're gonna go through all of those. We're gonna play the same song on all three versions so you can kind of hear the difference. And then you tell me what you think is better and then we'll talk about it at the end. So we're gonna do three different songs, uh, a rock song, a EDM song, and then a hip hop song if we can get them all in here. Text it. 
All right, so we already can hear the difference there. Be my heartbreak, be my one on one, be my only one, be my only love, be my heartbreak, be my one on one, be my only one, be my only love message. Hear me now, get the message, message. Who are you texting? It's not me, then, babe. Who are you texting? Hit me back, oh, you get the message. So again, I, I will say this, um, <laughs> at this point in time, today, Sunday, November 13th, 10, 15 PM, I will say that virtual DJ has the best sounding stem separator out there today. Now I have to say today because we don't know what's going to happen later on. We have no idea if Serato will come out with an update and then theirs is just as good or better. Algorithm DJ needs an update and I don't think they've done anything to do any updates lately. So I can only imagine that they're gonna come out with something that's gonna make it sound better. But I think really what I'm saying is this, it is a really good time to be a DJ. It is a fantastic time to be a DJ and competition is what breeds innovation and I'm here for it. I'm excited. I love what's going on. Let's talk about a couple of things that you need to know before getting into it. First of all, if you go to their early release and you download the software and you install it, you're gonna get a little box that pops up on your screen, specifically if you're using a Mac. I'm only talking about Macs today. What you're going to see is a little thing right here, right in the middle that says, uh, hey, by the way, in order to run this in real time, this new engine requires modern technology that is only available on Mac OS 13 and above. Now, if you don't know what 13 and above means, well, that is the brand spanking new version of Apple's operating system. So if you're anything like me, well, you know uh, that we don't typically update this quickly when a new operating system comes out. That's one of those things that you're gonna have to kind of figure out. You have other pieces of software that maybe you can't afford to update. And if that's the case, well, you might be very limited in what you can do with this particular version. If you decide that you're not gonna update, which is what I decided today, you will notice that the only option you have is to pre-process your stems or rock the older 1.0 version. I wanna point out that the pre-processing did take more time than I expected, to be honest with you. I was kind of disappointed in, in the wait. I did like three songs and it felt like it probably took five minutes or so to process the three songs. Obviously, the best scenario is for you to be rocking the most current system. That way you don't have these problems. You can run it in real time. All right, guys, if you found what I said here useful, hit that like button. If you found what I said here really useful, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on the Instagrams and the Twitters. Get on my Discord, because that's where we're talking about all things Cleveland Terry. Also, make sure you are available for my show. I got Tech Thursday on YouTube every single Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, guys, girls, always a pleasure. I'll talk to you later. We'll talk soon. Peace.